Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most smug of them all? It's Megan. That's who. Guys, I found the funniest article. I'm so excited to share with you. I thought we could take a look and have some laughs. I've talked about Jan Moyer before from Daily Mail. I really enjoy her articles, her take on ridiculous situations with Megan, and this is no exception. So let's take a look and see what she says. I'm Jen. Thanks for being here, everyone. Hong Kong. All right. This is courtesy of Daily Mail. Jan Moyer, bring on Megan's candle of grievance with sobbing crystal petals. Whatever she's selling, I'm buying. Now, before you click off of here, don't worry. We're not actually buying anything. We're not even clicking on her website. It's just a really funny article where Jan um, comes up with some ideas for Megan of things to sell. And uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. So let's keep going. All right. That one, whose title shall not be named, has launched a lifestyle brand called American Riviera Orchard. And I'm here for it. Quince bark coffee, tomato leaf soup, taster pack of salmon sperm injections. <laughs> Hand embossed, make your own voodoo doll kits, moonbeam gummies, whatever the heck Megan's selling, the first merch drop can't come quickly enough for me. And the only question to ask is, what took her so long? I think this is as good a time of any to interject and remind everyone she actually plans on selling dog food. Yes, that's one of the things that was listed as something she's going to get in the business of. I just want you to think about that. And think about this. This dog is in two casts. This dog was left behind when she moved to England. Just think about that. Now, the Sidley twins did a lot of research on these dogs and figured out, um, I believe it was something like she was claiming that this dog was elderly, so he couldn't make the trip. But the Sidley twins, we talk about it in, in our one of our uh, more recent videos, that this dog was only a couple of years old. But yeah, she's going to give us advice on dogs <laughs> and sell dog food or something like that. <laughs> All right. That one's wife is one of those women who is born to tell other women what to buy, what to think, and what to do. I love that line. She walks among mere mortals simply itching to enlighten us all on how to be and where to shop and who to adore and why grage is the new taupe, whether invited or not. God, I love this woman. This is exactly, uh, this is exactly it. That's what I've been saying too. Since Megan's influence, sorry, influencer days on the TIG, where she posted recipes, beauty tips, and style hints, because you know, she's known for her sense of style. I'll, I'll wait while, you, while your laughter subsides. Uh, from her Toronto base, it was clear that sooner or later she'd return to this lucrative world of clicks and likes. Who said she ever left, right? Looking at the, the posts, I mean. That she would be um, back among her merchant class kinfolk quicker than you can say add to basket. All she had to do to maximize her online profile and boost any future profits was to somehow somehow elevate herself from B-list television actress to becoming a significant figure on the global stage, a somebody that everybody had heard of, a person who went from not knowing Oprah, neither personally nor professionally, to inviting the all-powerful media, I won't call her star, not after that train wreck of an interview, after inviting Oprah to her wedding. Anybody got any ideas? Whatever you might think about Skank of Hank and Skank, you must agree that it was mission accomplished on that last front, at least. And how? From first date to locking the Frogmore door for the last time took just over three years. Less time than the gestation period of a salamander or certain kinds of shark. Of course, Skank didn't marry Hank purely to winkle him out of the royal family, like extracting a sulky whelk from a pearly shell, just so she could go on to use her royal title to launch a commercial lifestyle website selling cosmetics, jams, nut butters, and an organic bird seed in California. B 
be serious. No wacky conspiracy theories on this page, if you don't mind. Yet one still must admire the clarity of thought, the audacity, the sheer drive. I'm putting a question mark by that one. And twin peaks of mutual, I wouldn't say ambition. It took the greed, maybe? I don't know. It took the, those two to get where they are today. Greed and jealousy. I admire the energy, if not the approach, simply because far too many people were kicked to the curb on their fast lane to liberty. However, surely even Harold and Fraud must be exhausted by the industrial grievance complex that has funded their lifestyle thus far. That's one reason why I hope this American Riviera Orchard venture will usher in brighter times for the both of them. So bring on the five wick candles and the youth do elixirs. Make haste with the seven ply cashmere lounge pants and the overpriced jars of honey. Let's all dig deep and online shop till we drop to keep this young couple in luxury to which they've become accustomed and feel that they deserve. To this end, here is Megan back in California arranging white roses in a vase. Vase? Vase. Cooking something virtuous for lunch, launching herself as a tastemaker. Ready for this laughable point? and a mompreneur, yeah, right, she couldn't even feature the kids in the video, there's no momming there, who leads by example, yeah, right, someone who imposes her terrifying sense of style, I love this lady, upon the dreary civilian, she turn ups in the real world by wearing 1,500 pound Roland Murray day dresses and no end of delicious designer gowns to pick up her latest humanitarian award. So inspirational. Yet just like all those other lifestyle gurus, including Martha Stewart and of course Gwyneth and her mighty goop, one can't help but feel that sometimes their online sisterly solidari solidarity is as manufactured as their signature sense. And whisper it. Also, that it's avarice rather than giving of advice that really floats their boats. Out there in brand land, there are certainly millions of dollars to be made, but it is difficult to see where American Riviera Orchard fits into this crowded marketplace. The U.S. brands such as the Pioneer Woman started off as a farm girl blog and turned into a multi-million pound business, today boasting a hotel, a pizzeria, a cooking utensil range, and a TV cooking show that's run for 37 seasons and made Ree Drummond a very rich woman. I am sure people like Ree Drummond, somebody who has worked her rear end off for years, and as they pointed out, started off as a farm girl blog and put in the time, the effort, the years to make it this far. I mean, it's got to make somebody like that completely sick to their stomach that this one thinks she'll just come on, work an hour a week, if that, have her people, you know, take care of the rest and pick up a paycheck, you know, something like that. I just, I would think that that would really be a kick in the teeth to somebody like Reed Drummond. This week, Ree is raving about a new milk frontier and wondering if you can feed carrots to dogs while her wildly glamorous rival, Hannah from Ballerina Farm, is selling sourdough kits and mountain-raised meat on the Utah ranch where she lives with her husband and eight children. Closer to home, even Kate Moss is giving e-commerce a whirl with her Cosmos Company, I hadn't heard of that one, a new line of beauty and self-care products sold online and in store. The range features a facial oil made from something called Mythical Tears of, I don't know how to say that, Chios? A resin native to the Greek island of the same name that sells for around 105 pounds for 30 milliliters, making it almost expensive as scorpion antivenom. Has everyone gone completely mad? And you know, I'm not saying that's right. That's actually ridiculous, the price and everything about it. But at least you can argue, all right, Kate Moss has had how many years as a working model, how many years experience 
if anybody's going to give beauty advice, I would understand why somebody like that would be in a position to do that. Again, what does that one bring to the table? What can what kind of advice can she offer anybody? How does she think she's an expert at everything? If anybody's interested, I will be giving advice on how to fly an airplane. I've never done it before. I'm going to charge through the nose for it. I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. I could probably only just draw like a cartoon picture of an airplane, but that makes me more than qualified. So I will be taking signups after this video. Thanks. Cowgirl, party girl, goop girl, but what is Megan's USP going to be? Don't worry, I had to look it up too. USP is unique selling point. All right, what's her USP? Nope, I don't say her name. What's Rachel's USP going to be? Surely she wouldn't dare to play on her royal connections. She promised not to, after all. And you know, as we know, she's so good at keeping her word on things and always telling the truth. If you could see how hard, vigorously hard I was shaking my head. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. That one has said she wants her brand to be more accessible than Goop, but is impressed by the polished elitism of Flamingo Estate, another California brand that sells organic soaps and exclusive lifestyle. And yes, I've seen all your comments. I know. I've heard. She's allegedly ripped them off too. <laughs> There's a story going around where she looked at their information, got what she needed, ran with it, and now it's her thing. I don't know, something like that. So I'm like, okay, nice. Keep burning bridges. So apparently Martha Stewart is her main inspiration. Solid, dependable Martha, who is known for her practical advice on everything from skimming gravy to running a home and keeping it clean. Recent Martha posts included how to grow a tapestry lawn, and how to clean a broom, indicative of her attention to detail. I'd listen to Martha's advice on anything, but what does Megan know about brooms, except perhaps, as her, enemy, <laughs> as her enemies not only claim, how to fly one? I'm flattered, said Martha when told she inspired that one. She advised her to produce good products that work and will help the homemaker have a nice life. That's what it's all about. All right, I've seen your comments on this too. Uh, somebody was spreading around that Martha is suing. I don't think that's the case. It frustrates me too when people spread misinformation, not to quote Bozo, uh, but uh, it bugs me too. Uh, I do believe that might be, this is just a side note, I think that's Megan's people doing that. I really have the feeling it's, the squad trying to spread misinformation so that way when people report on it that they can say, look, see, they're talking out of their ass and they're spreading misinformation, that sort of thing. So I don't believe it. Not yet anyway. We'll see. I hope it's the case, but I don't believe it yet. American Riviera Orchard seems to be rooted in a sense of place rather than a person. She is selling the California dream, one jar of jam at a time. It is a Montecito, sorry, it is Montecito that's the major sell. But even still, there's the faint air of unearned emplacement. The feeling that she wouldn't be living in this upmarket millionaire's paradise were she not married to that one. Indeed, some are convinced that American Riviera Orchard will taint the monarchy with unsavory strain of commercialism. All right. Then she kind of lays into King Charles's High Grove website. And I, I, I take issue with that. It's a totally different situation and his profits go to charity from what I understand. So I don't see it as, I just don't see it as the same thing. So I'm going to be breezing past this part and getting right back in to the Miggy of it all. If Gwyneth's goop famously nourishes the inner aspect, what will Megan's orchard do? Give everyone the pip? <laughs> to launch a brand such as this, you must be popular and admired. You need a roaring army of fans to build your brand. You need to, you mean not bots? Those don't buy things? What? You need to have the pulling power of someone like Jeremy Clarkson. I've seen with my own eyes how hundreds of people will queue for two hours just to buy a bag of Jeremy's potatoes from Jeremy's farm because Jeremy grew them. 
Can Megan inspire the same devotion in her public? No. We will find out uh, next month when she launches at last. Why next month? Do we think that that's the case? I wonder where she's getting that from. Um, let's see here. In the meantime, here's what I imagine we're in for. The Candle of Grievance, 86 pounds, beautifully housed in a reclaimed jar. This soy wax candle is impregnated. <laughs> Oh, I hope that's on purpose. You know where we're going with that. With crystal petals, which makes a sobbing sound when they burn. Light for a frenemy. Light it for yourself. Lighten up, for God's sake. With top notes of prickly thorn and dry down of sour grapes, this will fill your space with a keen sense of injustice that lingers long. Burn time, three years and counting. Shearling noise cancellation headphones, 256 pounds. A sophisticated solution to plugging your fingers in your ears and shouting, la la la, not listening. Instead, pop on these fluffy beauties and marinate longer in your own thoughts. Be they petty or ever so grand, lined with hand milk muskrat silk to keep your lobes toasty. Accessorize with Opals for emotional amplification. Dog bowl, padded rough, 100 pounds. Have you ever worried that someone might burst into your kitchen and throw you on the dog bowl without a buy your leave? If so, this is the gadget for you. Simply clip this velvet padded rough around your dog bowl, ready to cushion your fall in any emergency. Made from a repurposed ceremonial robe, no longer needed. Available with sustainability formed ermine trim. Apply for details. Mood bracelet, 800 pounds. Multi strand quartz bracelet that will help align your chakras and promote calm. Featuring rose quartz for unconditional love. Malachite for pure odium. Cellulite for self acceptance and compassion and. Cherry quartz for cherry picking fights. These are so brilliant. I love Jan Moyer. I love this article so much. I'm really getting a kick out of these. My, I think my favorite is still that grievance candle, but these are great. Ohm alert portable meditation set. Uh, featuring a pre-loved cardboard box inscribed with the words meditation in progress. Do not disturb using her formidable calligraphy skills. <laughs> That's not calligraphy. That one personally inscribed each box herself, turning this practical aid to meditation on the move into a valuable collector's item. Wherever you are, simply pop the box on your head to create a safe space for chanting personal development mantras, manifesting, lucid dreaming, and grounding the ego. Limited edition autograph version, 100 pounds extra. Silent, not silenced, revenge diary. Revenge diaries. Set of thick line diary notebooks for journaling, collecting evidence, settling scores, and keeping secret list of potential royalist words. Each volume comes with a special unconscious bias section and an enemy index. Hummingbird sage dishwash soap, 38 pounds, and honor the moment when 11-year-old that one changed the world by writing to the Procter & Gamble, of, we know the story, about that dishwashing ad. Has she mentioned this before? 5P off orders, 12 bottles or more, discounts for the unwaged. Merry Old England Gourmet Section. That one is thrilled to introduce her own recipes and culinary ideas to entertain and delight. Included is Marry Me Roast Chicken, featuring the exact roast chicken and sacred herbs Megan was cooking when Harry proposed. Look out, too, for a family favorite called the Frozen Wiener's Supper. <laughs> And a spectacular Japanese pufferfish dish that Megan liked to serve to her in-laws, followed by hard cheese and Simply Crackers. Oh my goodness, so well done. And, and what's funny is this is 
pretty much how I picture it going. You know, I think it'll go one of two ways, actually. I think either absolutely nothing will come of it. Uh, she will put nothing up and, I don't know, claim she was attacked or some sort of victim of something and then let go of the project altogether. I am hearing rumblings of abandonment already. Or exactly what Jan is predicting, just these pretentious, preposterous, nobody needs this scam items, <laughs> scam-like items. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm curious. I, I would say she'll abandon it, but I really wonder if they're so desperate they can't. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm very curious to see, but I can't wait to see what happens. Guys, this has been so much fun. Let me know your comments below. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. Um, which of the items are your favorite? Do you have an item that you think would be included that is not on this list? Let me know all of that. I love reading your comments on all this. I really get a kick out of you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being here. Of course, if you want to further support the show, you know how to do it. Check out the merch. We got recollections make, uh, may vary, make it make sense. Not bloody likely, caffeinated and feisty. So many fun things. Check that out. Uh, also check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer, get access to bonus episodes, all the good stuff. Check that out if you're interested. Thank you for being here. Have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.